If you've been a victim of a hit and run or maybe you turned the corner too quickly and accidentally scraped the pole and the paint got onto your clear coat like this, fear not as long as the paint transfer is surface level it's only on the clear coat. In this video I'll show you a very simple and quick way to remove it using household items. This method will also work on old paint transfer. I managed to remove this white line from a hit and run I had over a year ago. So here's all the materials I used. First, you just need some kind of alcohol. I have isopropyl alcohol here. You can also use ethanol, otherwise known as rubbing alcohol. Just any kind of alcohol will do. And then you just need some nice clean water. If you have an extra spritzer bottle around, that'd be ideal. But in this case, I'm just using a spare water bottle. And I also have some baby wipes. You can also use a clean microfiber cleaning cloth. But if you don't have that, baby wipes will do just fine. It's soft enough for a baby's butt, so it's soft enough for your car. And actually, if you have one of those alcohol wipes, you could actually combine the two, the alcohol and the wipe itself, so you would only need two materials. But I don't have that, so I'm just using whatever I have around the house. All right, so let's get right to it. I got my wipe here, and then I am spritzing on a little bit of my isopropyl alcohol. Again, any kind of alcohol should do. And then I'm simply applying it to the painted area. No need to apply much force at all. Let the chemical reaction do its work. And just to show you how effective it is, I currently am not speeding up the clip whatsoever. After a few seconds of rubbing, you can see the paint has already transferred onto the wipe. So I'm just applying a little bit more alcohol so I can finish off the job. Altogether, the wiping process took me maybe about five minutes because I wanted to make sure I get every speck of yellow paint off my clear coat. And while you're doing this, if you notice that actually the paint penetrated even deeper than your clear coat, then you will have to do some touch-up paint, but then you have to go about making sure the paint matches, so that's a whole separate other process. But hopefully your case is just like mine here, where it only reached the clear coat level, so I am fine after this process. Now I just need to get like the alcohol residue off the clear coat, that's where the water comes in. And honestly, if you wanted to save yourself some water, you can also wait for some rain. But anyways, this is the final finished product after the water is all dried up. So I hope this helped you out. If it did, please give me a like. I greatly appreciate it. And subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.